Uh, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Before I go any further, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. In the name of Jesus, amen. A couple of things to share with you guys this afternoon. I know it's not quite sunset yet. Um, it's probably about sunset on the East Coast. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be pretty close here. So we're going to blow the shofar in just a second. But got a word from the Lord to share. But before that, I also want to say just a huge praise report and just uplift them in prayer. Our, our new brother, Rahim. I met him yesterday. He comes from a Pakistani Muslim family, but he had had so much truth of the word and, and scriptures poured into his life um, over many years. And yesterday he, he was born again. Yesterday he confessed with his mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believed in his heart, God raised him from the dead and accepted, accepted him as his Lord and Savior. So amen. We uplift our brother Rahim. Welcome to uh, God's family, brother. Um, let me go ahead and blow the shofar, and then I'm going to get into these, uh, this word that I got from the Lord. Um, so remember, we're doing four different blasts here. Try to back up where you can see a little better. Try to get the, the clouds here so we can see the, the clouds. <laughs> Come, Lord Jesus. Oh, I wish you could see the, the clouds on this side, guys. Looking to the east this way, but the sun was... I had to do it this way because of the sun, but man. Oh, come, Lord Jesus. We are ready. Your bride is ready. The Spirit and the bride say, come, Lord. So, so yeah, here's the word that I want to share with you guys. And uh, I got this on September the 23rd at 1.11 p.m. Pacific Time, and I immediately shared it with brother Tony and Matt and Mike and Kevin. And this came after you should go, if you haven't seen it yet, because I know community posts aren't really seen a lot, but this came about because in 2020 on September 19th, I was given a word. This was when my channel was, you know, I had 50 followers or something, 50 subscribers. Um, I was given a word. And I, I didn't, whenever I'm given an audible dictated word from the Lord, I don't comment on it because I feel like in those cases, the Holy Spirit is saying exactly what he wants to say. So I delivered that word that he dictated to me on September 19th, 2020. Now in my mind, I was thinking that it was pretty, it was a word for, for like right that moment, but I should have known a little better because that's just typically the Lord speaks and then there's a, a period of time that passes before it comes to pass. Typically, not always. So um, let me share that word, because what was amazing, and you'll see it on the community post, I had forgotten all about it. It was two years ago. And just a few days back, I was in, in the shower, honestly, and the Holy Spirit was like, remember that word that I gave you two years ago? Go and look at the date that I gave it to you. So I did. And then everything, everything locked into place, guys. It was such a humbling experience. So let me read that word and then I'll give you the word that was just given to me a couple days ago. You'll understand why this word was important um, because it was given on September 19th, 2020. So with that in mind, what happened September 19th, 2022? The whole world was watching a funeral, right? The entire world was watching a funeral. This was the word that was given to, to me September 19th, 2020. You can go back and watch the video on my community post. I am coming. There will be no more delay, declareth the Lord. These people lament and cry out over fallible mortals. Would they had such passion for me? Have they not heard? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and have no other gods before me. I know the answer. They have heard and have not listened. Therefore, I am coming. It is not too late for some to repent but my horses are fitted and will not return to the barn. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this encouraging word, because when the people lament and cry out over fallible mortals, he says there will be no more delay and the horses will not return to the barn. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that. So then 
this other word that I got, and I hadn't, now, now mind you, I hadn't gotten, since September 19th, 2020, I'd gotten no audible dictated word whatsoever. He had, he had spoken things and revealed things, but nothing like this where I had to write something down because honestly, I was on my way to work. I was running late already on September 23rd, a couple days ago. And um, the first thing the Lord said was, you're going to want to pull the car, the car over and write this down. And I was just kind of like, Lord, you know, I'm in a hurry. Um, and I drove a few more seconds down the road and he was like, you need to pull the car over. And I was like, oh, Lord, you know, I'm running late. And I let it go for a couple more seconds. And then he was like, I'm going to speak. You need to pull the car over. And so I did. I ended up, I wasn't late. So amazing how the Lord works like that. But um, again, I'm going to present this word with no commentary. Okay. Because... I honestly think this is for, I don't even want to say when it's for, but um, I will just say that my dad's name is Jim, and the Lord's never referred to me in this way before, so that was one of the many, many, many confirmations that I had with regard to the fact that this is 100% from the Lord. In fact, I just like the other word that I just delivered, that I, that I gave two years ago, I didn't want to give it, okay? <laughs> I, I didn't want to speak it, but I have to be obedient to him, especially when he is this. When he speaks supernaturally like this, what can I do but obey? So I'm just going to read what, what he gave me, and I'll leave it at that and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. The word of the Lord to the son of Jim. Write these words so that all may read when the time comes to pass. My people have abandoned me. They take matters into their own hands and seek a peace only I can provide. Wherefore will there be weeping in the hills of Cush and mourning in Pishon? There shall be desolations upon desolations from now until the end. Warn the people, blow the trumpet, Zion will fall. But I will reestablish it with mine own hand. Thus saith the Lord their God. Many will see and fear, and I will not hear them. For as I turned my face from my son on the cross, so will I turn my face away from those who reject my son, until all be reestablished. This is the word of the Lord. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <sighs> Guys, I, I'm, I'm just a mouthpiece. This is... This is Take it and take it and take it or leave it. You let the Holy Spirit speak to you. I'm I'm just a I'm just a man. M many many faults, many mistakes in my life. Um, but praise the Lord Jesus, His blood's covered them all. And here we are together, family, awaiting His return. Could be today, could be this evening, could be the Day of Atonement or Tabernacles. Whenever it is, Lord Jesus, your people are ready. The Spirit and the Bride say, come. Ah, oh, we love you, Lord. So I'll post the, um, I'll post that dictated word in the comments so you can actually read it. Because there's two words in there, uh, Kush and Pishon, that I haven't even uttered before. I, I don't even know where those came from. Don't even, I think I spelled them right. <laughs> um, I, again, I just was just hearing what he gave me. So I, again, I don't want to make any more comment on anything. Um, but I will say, like we always say on this channel, in everything we say and do, may the Lord Jesus be magnified. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you all at the banquet of the Master very, very soon. God bless you. Maranatha, Lord Jesus.